Hi folks, this is Brian. I'm out in front of the Cass County Justice Center. Uh, behind me is an incredible facility uh, that's been paid for by your taxpayer dollars and uh, that's an exciting thing. When I moved here to Cass County 20 years ago, uh, we were still having court uh, hearings downtown at the historic courthouse and there was a small jail. But the, the uh, crime rate and the justice system um, had to increase and build new facilities. And what you see behind me is the result of that. Uh, as of 2022, um, Cass County has contracted to also uh, keep uh, federal prisoners as well. So uh, the Justice Center um, here in Cass County is dealing with a lot of crime, a lot of people that have to be incarcerated. And when you think about that, you think about obviously the need to be incarcerated because of our behaviors. It's usually related to something like, well, addiction, right? And addiction is a big part of, of our culture today. Well, I'm out here today because uh, we're celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Life Issues Recovery Walk, and it starts right here at Cass County. That building behind me is symbolic of the bondage that a lot of people are in. And it's not just because of drug addiction and things like that. At the end of the day, it's just sin. Sin has people in bondage, and we all have certain things that our flesh loves, and if we feed our flesh, we become addicted. And when people don't know the Lord Jesus, they're in a, in a prison that they can't escape. And that's why we have Life Issues Recovery Ministry, so we can show people the way to be free through the, the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. So annually, we have a walk, and that walk starts right here, and it takes us 4.4 miles all the way to Heartland Baptist Fellowship. We'll gather right where I'm standing and have a word of prayer, and we'll begin our journey. I hope you'll join us. Life is a journey, and we're glad that you're joining us on this journey to help people become free from the bondage of addiction. And uh, one of the things that uh, we'll be seeing people free from is the impact of sin. You know, in Cass County alone, there are 20 deaths related to drug and alcohol each year. There's 25 deaths related to suicide. There's uh, a thousand domestic abuse reports. There are 50 juvenile detentions. Uh, and there's, uh, percentage-wise, 13% of the youth in the Kansas City metro area have tried illicit drugs uh, just this last year. You can go to the Missouri Department of Health and you can read the stats for yourself. This is an important event in the, and not just the, the life of our church and the life of our community, but in the lives of individuals who are bound by sin. We sure would like to have you be a part of this walk. And if you want more information, you can go to our website at hbfcast.org and look under Life Issues, or you can go to lifeissues.org and you'll find more information there. Friday, September 2nd, put that on your calendar. Remember that registration starts at 5.30 p.m. Uh, walkers are bus to the st uh, start line and the recovery walk starts promptly at 6.30 p.m. from the Justice Center. So you'll wanna make sure to get here and get in on that. We'll have water at the station, so you don't have to worry about that. You'll have water as you go. There's also a great celebration at the end when you get to Heartland Baptist Fellowship. There's gonna be free pulled pork. Uh, there'll be a dinner there with sides. There'll be raffles. Uh, there'll be uh, prizes. There'll be cotton candy. There'll be popcorn. There'll be activities for the kids. Whew, that's a lot of stuff. It's getting hot out here. Uh, there's gonna be a testimony. Probably the sweetest thing you're gonna taste isn't the cotton candy, but the testimonies that come from life issues ministry participants that have had a changed life. You know, God wants to build our lives. 20 years ago, when uh, the Justice Center was being built, that wasn't the only thing God was building. He, he promised 2,000 years ago that he was gonna build his church and the gates of hell would not prevail against it. And he started working in a little congregation right here in Cass County. And 15 years ago, they were able to build a church right here at 283rd Street, where I'm walking right now. And that's where our walk concludes. It's a place of peace, it's a place of rest, it's a place where you're gonna hear the Word of God. It's a place where Life Issues meets every Friday night and uh, and they want you to come and be a part of that. I can't think of a good reason why you wouldn't be a, wanna be a part of this walk. Make sure uh, that you get some forms. There's a pledge form that Pastor Steve will have and uh, you can raise money, you can get people to sponsor you on the walk. Um, if you have $100 or more uh, pledged for the walk, you get a free recovery walk t-shirt and so uh, another way you can help is if you have a business or uh, you're in touch with a local business partner who wants to help sponsor this event uh, please get them in contact with Steve they can help uh, with supporting the walk monetarily by underwriting it or they can contribute uh, to some of the prizes 
uh, and help with the raffle uh, during the event. So the, mo the most important thing is just to get involved, come out, be a part of this thing, uh, get some pledges, support what God's doing in the lives of people, in the Life Issues Ministry, be a part of what God's doing and help build his church because the gates of hell will not prevail against it. So look forward to seeing you on September the 2nd, 5.30 at, and uh, 6.30, the walk starts. Don't forget it, be there, and uh, God's gonna bless you real good. I hope to see you.